if I meet a woman uh, that I want to marry, bring her back on a fancy visa and we agree to get married, is it better for us to get married in the US or in her home country? And, and by better, I mean which way we'll speak, uh, speed up getting her to the US. I'm looking to get married soon, but I did have a bad marriage and divorce, so I'll wait until I'm sure. If things click, I will do it sooner rather than later, but it will depend on chemistry. It is a good approach, just do it whenever you're ready, don't pull the trigger too fast. If you're not ready for this, if you feel you're not quite there, don't do it. Take your time. Then the same thing with her. If you feel she's not quite there yet, give her more time. Um, so yes, and of course, you know, everybody has past relationship experience, you know. Most of the you guys been, you know, been married, been divorced, been through, you know, a negative experience. I'm sure, you know, your future fiance had, you know, some, um, you know, complicated life experiences. So, two of you want to make sure that's the right thing for two of you to go forward. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, if you had a bad experience in the past, of course, you'll be more careful. It's not like us. I mean, my husband never been married. I never been married. So, we had no experience. So, we decided to get married right away. So, of course, if you had bad experience, you, you're careful for sure. It'll take you more time to decide. Some of these women are really nice looking, hopefully they have uh, matching personalities. All humans are humans, people are people, you know, that's... Of course, you know, well, first of all, all women in, you know, in Ukraine and Asia and, you know, so every, in Latin America, you know, they're extremely good looking, they're all beautiful and, you know, majority of people are very nice, very friendly, have great personalities. Can you say that all 100% of people that you'll meet will be perfect? No. The same thing with guys, you know, it's just people are people. To answer the poll question, it would have to depend on the amount of chemistry between the two people. Absolutely, Mark. I think that is the most important thing, is the chemistry between two people. If it's there, why we have to wait, right? You want to be together. Well, and of course, there are more than the chemistry. There also has to begin with common common interest, there are so way more that, you know, cause and it could be, chemistry could be there, but could everything be, else might not necessarily. more than chemistry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who needs to talk? I mean, yeah. you have chemistry, yeah. talking is overrated, who needs that? <laughs> you know, if you don't talk, you can't ar argue that that yeah. order works too, you know. Love yourself first, uh, then you won't uh, love just to feel void. Unless you're happy by yourself, you won't be happy with another. However, the look, the personality, or sexual attractions. A lot of it is psychological. You know, you need to. You know, you just you know, you don't want to <laughs> jump on the first available option. So, you know, the pretty girl comes to you, smiles at you, and you know, you you haven't been dating in a while, and you're just so happy. Oh, she is beautiful. She's talking to me. She's the one. No, you know, just uh, slow down, slow down there, you know, again, get to know her first. The thing is, if you do get married in your country, you will not be eligible for a fiancé visa. So, fiancé visa is like one-time visa, so it's uh, so a lady can enter the United States and at one time, so she cannot go back and forth. So, when she comes here, you guys do need to get married here, so you cannot, you know, she cannot stay here for 90 days, check it out, how she likes it or not like it, and then two of you go back to whatever your country is and get married there. If you do want to get married in your country, then you would, it will be a different type of visa, that would be a spousal visa, which usually takes a little longer than a fiancé visa, and the reason is uh, it actually comes with a green card, so the, you know, the uh, check on it a little bit more extensive than on a fiancé visa. But again, in the end, the perk of it, when she comes here, uh, you know, she will pretty much get a green card automatically, but then again, you, you know, Fiancé visa is better because she has, you know, time, um, an opportunity to see whether she likes living here. So she has this little trial period. 
Because, you know, despite of all those stereotypes that women can just, just can't wait to jump on a plane, come here and get this green card, you know, and no, that is not the case. Join men from all over the world as they take a trip and find their future brides. Interested? Learn more at asian-women.com If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.